Memorial Day weekend is expected to be a busy one on the water. 12 News Anthony Howard is live at the reservoir to show us how reservoir police are preparing for a lot of boat traffic. Anthony, hi. Now, it's a nice day today, and the week and the weather this weekend is expected to look a lot similar. So here's a few things you might want to know if you plan on heading to the reservoir for the three-day weekend. The reservoir police want people to know it will be enforcing ordinances. Some things to remember are glass containers and alcohol are not allowed on the park grounds. People fishing need to make sure they have their license and a way to dispose of their trash. Glass containers are also forbidden on boats, and officers will be making sure everyone is boating safely safely and responsibly. Before setting sail, there are a few safety items boaters are required to have on their vessels. Looking for your hull numbers, making sure they're displayed properly on the side of the boats. That's something that we're looking for as well. As far as the interior of the boats, we're looking making sure that you have your fire extinguishers, your life jackets, uh, make sure you have a whistle or horn on there, and if you have Riders on that are the 12 and under while the vessel's underway. You're required, they're required to have the, the life jackets on at all times. And one more thing, those born after June 30th, 1980, are required to have a boater safety card, which can be gotten online. And the reservoir chief says all officers will be working this weekend, along with the wildlife, fisheries, and parks, to ensure everyone is being safe. Live at the Ross Barnett Reservoir, Anthony Howard, 12 News. Thank you.